What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we're showcasing one of my favorite Pokemons using double battles, which is Kyogre. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on the video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, just click that subscribe button. Seriously, it only takes a second of your guys' time. And I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. But getting started with this team, we're starting off in that top left corner. We have Rillaboom. This Pokemon has probably been the most dominant Pokemon in this meta for non-restricted mods, if that makes sense. So it's the most used Pokemon, or it's either that or Incineroar. For non-restricted mods, this Pokemon has just been a beast. He comes in on any single team and makes it a lot better. He's got Grassy Surge, a Soul Fest as his item. Then we got Knock Off, Grassy Glide, U-Turn, and Fake Out. A pretty standard moveset for this Pokemon. But why change it? It is so good, you, it just doesn't need any change for it. Cannot have a rain team without Tornadus, so we got Tornadus on this team. Hurricane as his moveset, it can hit 100% in the rain. Gotta bring that thing in. Gotta bring that thing in here on a rain team. Tailwind to give speed for allied Pokemon. Taunt to taunt opposing Pokemon or opposing support Pokemon. And then rain dance to actually reset the rain and get this team a lot stronger. Middle left is Swift Swim Kingdra. And I miss this Pokemon so much. Haven't used this Pokemon for a couple months now. It's just so good all around in rain teams. I really, really like it. And he's a fairly fun Pokemon to use. Water and Dragon type, Swift Swim as his ability so it doubles its speed in the rain, Life Orb as his item, and then it's got this amazing moveset of Ice Beam, Hydro Pump, Protect, and Hurricane. Right next to him is going to be Serena over here, and this Pokemon has been seeing a lot of the light in this series, considering there's no Dynamax, which means first turn priority moves are at its highest peak, and then this ability of Queenly Majesty can just cancel out first turn priority moves. So that's why you're seeing a lot of Serena out here. It's just really well, and it controls the battle without Dynamax really well. Got the Miracle Seed as its item, Grassy Glide, Triple Axle, U-Turn, and High Jump Kick as its moveset. Bottom left corner is going to be the heart and soul of this team. We got Kai Ogre over here with Drizzle ability so we can set rain once it comes into battle. We got the Chewy Scarf on this Pokemon so it outspeeds a lot more. We got Ice Beam, Water Spout, Origin Pulse, and Thunder. And Thunder is going to hit 100% of the time in the rain so that's great for this Pokemon. Final Pokemon on this team is going to be a little support mod, and that is going to be Umbreon. I love this evolution. So cool. Its design is amazing and it is really actually underrated in ranked double battles in my opinion. We got Inner Focus as its ability, Leftover as its item, Foul Play, Helping Hand, Protect, and Wish as its moveset. Guys, if you want to try out the scene for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto this ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Kyogre rain team. Let's get rocking here, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our first battle, going up against a Shadow Rider Calyrex team alongside with Grimmsnarl, Clefable, Tapu Koko, Swampert, and Tornados. And Tapu Koko, I haven't really seen in Series 10 yet. And I love that Pokemon so much. I just haven't been seeing it ever since Dynamax and the new rule set has changed. But who do I think he's going to go into? Potentially that Tornados as a lead. I could maybe just go into Kyogre, but then he could lead that Tapu Koko as well to pose that threat. I'm trying to think who I can go into and how I can kind of counteract on that Pokemon. Because it is very, very fast and it does do a lot of work on me. So I might go into Rillaboom as a lead. Rillaboom can be decent on the lead, and I could also go Serene over here because I have a lot of coverage. And I'm trying to think. I think I'll maybe go Tornadus here. I do have Focus Ash. Hmm, what does Jeans want to do here? I'm thinking of just uh, setting up, like, uh, maybe faking out that Pokemon and getting after Maybe setting up a Tailwind and roll from there. Bringing Kyogre in the back, and then final Pokemon could potentially be this Umbreon. But if we're bringing Rain, I think we want Kingdra here. Because he has no way of changing up that weather. He has no way of changing up the weather. So I am going to end up bringing Kingdra. Let's do it. Let's rock it. Let's get after it. I could actually lead the uh, the Kingdra. I think because Kingdra is not, it's not like electric moves are super effective to him because it is part dragon type, which is amazing. Well, let's rock out into this. Let's get into this. Uh, if we can set up a Tailwind, then I know my Kyogre can outspeed that Tapu Koko, but that's like the only threat we're going up against. So if he doesn't bring it in or if we can get rid of that Pokemon, we should be thriving fine in this video or in this battle. Let's see his lead. Let's see his lead. I'm thinking it's going to be Koko. No, no Coco, but I did predict a Tornadus. So Tornadus with the uh, with that Shadow Rider Calyrex, I could definitely fake it out. I could set up a Tailwind if I want, but I think I should go into a fake out and maybe taunt it. Could be our option. Just so we can keep speed and we can roll off from there. I'm thinking we outspeed it in general, so I might just I might just taunt it right off the rip and go for a knockoff onto the, uh, the Calyrex, right? That can definitely be our play. Instead of using our fake out turn. I think we can taunt it and predict he's going into some sort of a, uh, some sort of a, uh, what's it called, move. There, okay, that's fine. So we're, we're trying to taunt that, but to protect it, that's totally fine. Good thing we didn't fake it out. We're going to go for a knockoff onto the Calyrex slot, take off this item, and get off some decent amount of damage onto it as well. So Astro Barrage is going to fly through here. I don't see him taking out any of my Pokemon here, so I think we're fine. I think it's going to bring Tornadus decently low, right? 
Yep, down to the sash, but does not take us out. Does not take us out. So I can always grass guide and potentially finish that off next turn. And maybe taunt again. But there's the knockoff. Knockoff just gets rid of it. Like that. Beautiful. Gotta love it. And we're gonna get after it now. So I am down to red. So I kind of want to set up a tailwind now. I'm trying to think of what I could do here. I could always swap. I wonder what he's gonna go into. He could go into an air slash. He could be rocking hurricane just like us. But I could just throw a grassy guide for our last uh, move. But I'm waiting for this Coco. He's gotta have the Coco, right? There's the Coco. Okay. I was waiting for this Pokemon. I gotta get rid of this dude. I gotta get rid of the suit. I think we can outspeed him if we get off a Tailwind, but he's just gonna get off a Tailwind as well. Could be a little tough for us. Which could be a little tough for us. We could go for a Glide, which is probably our best bet. Get off as much damage as we possibly can. Really want a Hurricane, but I know I gotta set up a Tailwind. I know I have to set up a Tailwind, right? That is 100%. Got 100% set up a Tailwind. Oh, and Grassy Glide. Oh, the terrain went away. The terrain went away! I just noticed that. I just noticed the terrain went away. That's rough. That's a little rough here. Tailwind is going to pop for us. And I wonder what he's going to go for. Maybe he'll go for a taunt. I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind if that thing goes for a taunt. Nope. We're going to go tailwind for tailwind. So it's just going to cancel out. It's going to go back to normal. Taco Coco is going to be the fastest on the field. And he's going to pivot with the U-turn. Which is fine because Rillaboom should be able to eat that, right? He does. Rillaboom is able to eat that up easily here. And I'm trying to think of what I can go into. We have tailwind set up. I'm thinking uh, now that he's gone, one of the Tornadas is fast on the field. And he's going to swap into Clefable here. Grass Guy's going to fly without the terrain. Doing a little bit of damage, not bad. And what is that? Okay, that's left over. I thought he had like an eject button. I was just like, dude, you really just swapped out just to use your eject button? I was going to be so confused. But we're sitting here. Uh, I could knock off, start taking off leftovers. I think that could be a, that could be a pretty decent thing here. I'm going to do that. And then I might just... Hmm. What do I want to do here? Good taunt. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try land a hurricane here. With you. Give me my play. Even though accuracy's low, we're gonna go for it. High risk, high reward, baby. Hurricane comes out. It does land. Beautiful. Get off a decent amount of damage on that thing. Show me the ducks. Give me the ducks. This thing has the uh, eject button. Okay. But that thing has the eject button. I'm cool with that all day. I am cool with that all day. We bring that thing down in the red. We do a little bit of damage over onto the uh, the Clefable slot, and now we are going to actually take off this item, which could be pretty big for us. Get rid of its leftovers and go from there. So give me them leftovers. Let's just start taking off items left and right. Minimize can come through here and yo. Kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I ain't even gonna lie. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm kind of scared for that. I don't know why. I'm terrified of that. That does look like it could be very scary, but I can definitely see a double kill coming out here. How many turns left in Tailwind? That's my real question. Two. Two turns left in Tailwind. I guess. We're both going to die here. I know that for a fact. We're definitely both going to die here. Why would I go after that thing? It's okay. I think he's just going to go for a... Okay, there's a one kill. He might minimize again. But good thing he is U-turning. Because now I can bring out a... I can bring out Kai over here. I can bring out Kai over here. I'm thinking now has to be the Kai over turn, right? Is this thing going to minimize again? Because I do not see his hurricane actually hit landed on this thing. I just don't see it happening, right? Hurricane comes out here, and it does connect. Wow. And it does connect. Give me ducks. Show me ducks. Minimize coming out again, dude. This thing is on so low HP. I swear. If we can't hit this for the rest of the battle, I'm going to be pretty upset. But we are going to end up bringing out Kyogre here. I feel like Kingdra is going to be our, our best bet for this team. I feel like right now Kyogre can potentially uh, get a double kill. But I feel like uh, Kingdra is definitely going to come in here and clean up this top of Coco later in the match. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out. So here's this. Um... Uh, you give me no reason not to just go into... Ooh, we could just drop an Origin Pulse, but actually slow. But I think Water Spout is our best bet right now. I'm just going to drop a Water Spout. And... Hmm. I guess we'll go for Hurricanes, yo. It's 100%. Oh, Hurricane can't miss on this Fable, right? If it's 100%. That could be big for us. Hurricane comes out here. Yeah, it can't miss. Let's go. Let's go. So your Minimize is not working out onto us. Your Minimize, get it out my face. Trying to make something set up. Our Hurricane is not missing in the rain. It does not miss. Get out my face. There goes our water spout. Get that tornado out my face, yo. We rolling. We are rolling here. Let's go, yo. First battle looking in our favor. That Tapu Koko was definitely scary, but we kind of like outplayed it. We kind of kept our Kai Ogre secretly hidden in the back, waiting for a chance to take out the Tapu Koko, but he hasn't given it to us yet. So now it is a 1v3. I think we should be totally fine up against this Pokemon. So I can actually set up another Tailwind, which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I'm going to drop a water spout because we are truly scarfed into it, first of all. And second of all, we should go first with this Tailwind up. The tailwind comes out. 
We have Tailwind Boost. He doesn't have Tailwind anymore. And our Choice Scarf on top of that. We should go before it. Yep, Water Spout comes out here. Could potentially pick up the KO onto it. Yes, sir. Yo, Kyogre, too good in this meta. He is too good dominating Pokemon left and right. We grab ourselves a win in battle number one. Now we can hop into our second and look to go back to back. So we're sitting at 3-1 for this brand new season, which isn't bad. Hopefully I get my record up and get into Master Ball as soon as I possibly can. Haven't really been grinding out this season as much as I normally do, but hey, we're still rolling strong with a 3-1 record. We're hopping into our second battle here, going up against a Rayquaza team. Okay, yo, this is what I love about new seasons. Because you drop down into Great Ball tier, you're seeing a lot of, like, off-meta teams. It's just so fun to play. Usually, like, if I play off-screen, I'll use, like, off-meta teams. Sometimes I'll use them on-screen, but right now, we're rocking out with this decently strong meta Kyogre team. But uh, this guy's cool Rayquaza team with My Shell, Arcanine, Excadrill, one of my favorite Pokemons ever, and then uh, Moltres and Magnuson. So a pretty cool team, pretty solid team all around. Um, he does have that My Shell for first turn priority. Hmm. Might want to uh, bring in Tessarine. Or Serene, however you pronounce it. I always get confused with it all the time. But Tornas could be a solid lead here as well, because we could take speed advantage from this uh, whole squad. Um, I kind of just want to bring this Pokemon in the back end. Hmm. I can lead it. Leading it won't be bad. Leading it will not be bad. At all. Yeah, let's go with them two as a lead. We definitely want Kai over here. And I think we're gonna grab we're gonna grab Kingdra. Give me no reason not to bring Kingdra. Hmm. Again, another scary Pokemon could be Magnezone. That's really what this team struggles with a little bit, is going to be electric Pokemon. I think we should be fine. I think should we bring? Rillaboom? I just don't I just don't see us needing Rillaboom here. Hmm. Let's rock it. Let's run it, baby. Let's get after this one. I'm liking this team. I'm liking Serene in here. Because I believe he could potentially lead to my shell. And my shell, we gotta watch out for the wide guards. We definitely 100 percent have to watch out for the wide guards because we are to scarf. So we gotta remember that. If we go into that and they have a Pokemon that's just wide garden, I believe you can constantly wide guard. I believe it's not like protect where you where you can't use a back to back turns. Like you can if you want to. You can just throw back to back. So he goes in with a uh, Magnetone and Rayquaza. And Rayquaza, which we are rocking triple axle on this Pokemon. So could just send it. We could just send it. We could just send it after a thing. So I'm just gonna go for a tailwind. We do have our focus ash ready to rock and we have high jump kick as well. Would be awesome, but triple axle is going to be replay. Hopefully, we can get a three hit turn on this thing. That could be really, really dope. I know it's not stabbed, but it can still do a decent amount of damage at well to this giant legendary dragon. He's one of the cooler legendaries, in my opinion, as well. I just feel like the Hoenn region, Kyogre Ground on Rayquaza, 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 however you want to pronounce it, are just amazing. Or just like aesthetic wise, just looking at them, they look amazing. But he's gonna end up swapping you, thinking of like knowing I'm going into a triple axle. Wow, what a play! What a play, yo. I give this to this guy all day. What a play. What a play. He's probably just going to go for an electric move, right? We're going to be able to set up a tailwind. Oh, he's just going to protect, yo. So, okay, I'm with that turn. I'm with that turn all day. Tailwind's going to pop. I could swap the Serene, which I might do right now. Double will actually come through here. And what? Oh, my God. This thing is Rocky Helmet. What you mean? Stop hitting. Oh, yo, what a play. Rocky Helmet coming out here. I love it. I love it. Could set up a Rain Dance. Could taunt. Uh, hmm. I'm going to try to just land a Hurricane, right? For a high jump kick, might as well. Or I can U turn pivot, which I might U turn pivot. And I'd rather go into you, considering, uh, considering you don't have a Rocky Helmet. <laughs> He's going to swap it to the Moltres. That's totally fine with me. Hurricane pops out here. We're actually going to end up connecting. You know, we're connecting our hurricanes all day today. Give me ducks. We haven't got a duck yet. We haven't got we haven't got, got in with ducks yet. So I could go in. I think smart play would be going into what's called right now. Kyogre, right? Probably be our best bet. I don't think he's rocking wide guard on any of these Pokemon as of now. So Kyogre's going to come out here. We can see a Flare Blitz definitely rolling out. Let's see what he does from here. Rain is coming out, which is beautiful. A nice little swap into him. He doesn't have the Magazone out there anymore. And Snar- Oh! Ugh! Oh. This thing is- Dude, Arcanine is so good. He's so good, dude. I swear. He's just an absolute beast. He's an absolute beast. But let's rock in with this Hurricane right here. And then I guess we'll go for a- What do I want to go for? I want a choice into a Water Spout. We have speed right now, so I think Water Spout is going to be our play. We have speed right now all day. Hurricane comes through. 
Rocking out with that. Dealing some decent amount of damage. Give me ducks. No ducks coming out there. We are minus one, which I don't like one bit. Watch about comes through here. And it's gonna be able to take out the arc knight, but yo, dude, that minus one is just mm, does you dirty, man. Does you dirty. He's gonna end up getting berserked. And he's gonna be able to maybe take out one of my Pokemon here. Probably gonna be able to take out one of my Pokemon here. Fire Rask gonna come through here, and Water Spot's gonna be able to do less damage, which stinks, man. We both survived, which I can dig. I can get after with it. And that's why I wish I probably would have went into an Origin Pulse. Probably would have been my better move choice. But we'll see how this, what this next one goes. Again, we still have Speed. He's probably gonna go back into Magnezone, right? Yep, Magnezone is gonna get popping back. And I can just go for a Hurricane here. I think I'm gonna do I think I'm just gonna have to go into a Hurricane into another one of these Water Spouts. Through our choice. I could actually swap. Maybe should have swapped into Serene. If our Kyogre does stay alive, I'm gonna swap into this, uh, to Serene. Just so I can Choice Scarf into a different move next turn. But again, we still have the Kyogre, or not the Kyogre, the Kingdra. We'll have Swift Swim, which will be nice all around. He's gonna end up withdrawing you and going back into Rayquaza. So his Berserk is gone. So I do dig that. I do dig that all day. Airlock coming out here. Effects on Weather Disappear. That's a huge play for him. And Hurricane comes in here. Still connects. Hopefully we can get Ducks, yo. My Hurricane's been landing all day. We haven't been able to get any type of Ducks. But there goes our Water Spout doing less damage because Airlock is out and about. So our Weather damage is actually getting neglected. Thunderbolt's gonna come through here. He's gonna say, see you later to my Kyogre. And oh, Kyogre with the free Sash. With the free Focus Sash. So the real question is, do I swap this Pokemon? I might want to swap him here. I might want to swap him here. Set up another Tailwind. That is lovely, yo. I'm going to swap him because he does no damage. And we're going to get out uh, Serene here. We are going to get out Serene because we know that Tornadus is going to go down here. Which is all good. Which is all good. So if Tornadus goes down here, then we will have our Kindred in the back with Swift Swim ready to rock out. And we have Life Orb on it with Hurricane. So Hurricane's going to be able to slap up. He doesn't have Arcanine anymore, which is great, so we can't snarl up on my special attackers. But yo, dude, the free focus ash. The free focus ash. We have to swap here, because I feel like Kyrie can definitely get off a turn with that Twist Scarf out and about. He's going to end up protecting the Rayquaza. Yo, dude, I love that turn. And who are you going after? You going for like a Discharge or something? I could see him going for a Discharge here. Let's see. I'm just going to go for a straight Thunderbolt. Who are you going after? You going to go after Tornado. He's predicting our Protect, but yo, dude, I'm... I'm so cool with that turn. I'm so cool with that turn. I am so cool with that turn. I think is rocking some leftovers on him, which I don't like one bit. I could bring out just Kingdra. I could bring out Kingdra. And now that that thing protect it, I can just drop a huge Ice Beam onto the Rayquaza slot because it's either he eats it up with the Rayquaza or he swaps to the Moltres who will not be able to eat that up. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So Ice Beam gonna fly through over onto this slot. And then I think we're just going to go for a high jump kick. Kind of land this thing, right? I think that's definitely our play. That's got to be our play. Hopefully high jump kick can land. Because if not, we kill ourselves. <laughs> that's so tough. That is so tough. Let's see how this one plays out. This one is going to be a very close battle. Like I said, we still have Kai Ogre in that back end to that, that lucky little free focus ash. So he is going to end up withdrawing. And like I said, he withdraws. He has to go into the Moltres, who is not going to be able to take this ice beam either. So I like that all day. He's going to end up protecting the Magnet Zone. I guess he's trying to waste out Tailwind turns. I'm with this all day. Ice Beam's going to fly through here. Should say bye-bye to you, right? Should say get out of my face. Yep. Just as I said, he cannot swap. He's going to either take it with the Rayquaza or swap it and lose his Moltres. So now we're sitting in the same exact spot, but in a better position. But in an even better position here. Now that his Moltres is gone. And oh my lord. Even in Protect, you still crash. That is nuts. The rain does stop. I could do a hard swap here. But we have Tailwind, so there's really no need. There's really no need. If I can end up seeing him, uh, he could protect. He could definitely protect. He could totally protect. What would I want to do if he protects? We're still going to go into this. We're going to do exactly what we just did. We're going to do exactly what I just did. Dude, that almost took out my Serene there. That protect with the high jump kick put us down at three, bro. <laughs> All right, so we're sitting here. I kind of like where we're sitting. I do. I don't think it's a bad spot. Because again, if he doesn't protect, I don't see him taking out my Kingdra, though. Like, at all. I just don't see him taking out my Kingdra. Protect comes out from you. Yeah. I kind of saw that coming. I was going to make the read, but I need to post that third onto that thing. 
Ice Beam comes out, it gets blocked, and we're gonna be able to drop a high jump kick, which connects thanks to the Lord. Thank the Lord, getting off good amount of damage, great amount of damage on that thing. Thunderbolt's gonna fly through here, probably take out my Serene, right? So he takes out my Serene, and yeah, I'm level where we're sitting. We get rain back out for a Kingdra. Ice Beam can fly through. I see an Origin Pulse just taking out anything here. I can see a Protect flying through. Hell yeah, dude, I'm loving it. You gotta love it. You gotta love the 1 HP Kyogre coming in the back end. This guy is probably so upset. The 1 HP Kyogre coming in the back end. They gave us a free Focus Sash. We love it. We love it when it happens to us. Because most of the time, it's happening to our opposing Pokemon. So it, it, it feels nice to be on the side for once. But Ice Beam's gonna be able to drop here. And I'm just gonna go for his Origin Pulse. Our best bet. Our best bet is going to Origin Pulse here. Choice into it. We have speed. We're rocking out here. We have Tailwind set up. We have Choice Scarfs. We have Swift Swim. Everything's in our favor. And these guys don't have. Ooh, we might have a first turn priority move. This thing rocking extreme speed. Hmm. I feel like he would have brought it out earlier. He could have it. I think he might. That could be tough for us. I feel like he would have brought it out earlier, right? If he's rocking it, he definitely would have brought it out earlier. So let's have fingers crossed here. No extreme speed, but now I'm thinking about it. He's gonna he's gonna take out my Kyogre with it. No, he's gonna go for another protect. That was his last ditch effort. Origin Pulse gonna fly through here. Should be able to take out Magneto, no problem. Probably not gonna be able to take out the Rayquaza. And our Ice Beam is gonna be able to come in here and pick up that free KO. Yo, GG's coming out here. Your boy is going back to back here. 2-0 for today's video so far. We can hop into our third and final battle. Look for that picker or perfect record. And uh, we're we're rolling here in this new season. We're 4-1. Our, our streak is going. Our streak, our, our record's looking good. Let's keep this one going and let's grab ourselves a win in battle number three. As of right now, we're on a hot streak. We're sitting at 4-1 in the season. And if we grab ourselves this win, it'll push us up into Ultra Ball tier. And maybe even like past the halfway mark. Because you guys know, if you go on win streaks, your rank goes up significantly more. So, we're searching for opponent right here. I definitely want to face a solid team here. I don't know why. I just want to have a good battle. But I do want to win all around. That last battle was pretty solid. Again, you know, we faced a Tapu Koko and a Magnezone. Two electric Pokemon that really posed a threat on our team. But we were actually able to counteract onto them and win ourselves the battle. That was good. That was awesome. That requires it did scare me a little bit because if it did have extreme speed, it would have been tough. It would have been tough for your for your boy. Because then he would have taken out my, uh, let me think about that. He would have taken out my Kyogre with extreme speed. I would have Ice Beam across, taken out the Rayquaza. Then it would have been a 1v1 situation with me and Magnuson. And I'm thinking maybe a Hydro Pump probably could have taken that out next turn. But again, we would have needed to land it. So it would have been a tough little situation for us. But we're hopping into our third battle. This guy, ooh, yo, Kyogre. But yo, let's go. What this team's like counter it's like contradicting itself. He has a Kyogre team with a Groudon squad. Like swap out Kyogre for Groudon. It would be so much better. But his team is still looking a little scary. He does have the Torque goal for the drought. So we can go multiple different ways here. Could just be a weather war. I think it is gonna be a weather war here. But I do have Tornas, which has to be brought in here. He can control weather a lot. Gonna bring in Kyogre. I might not even lead Kyogre. I could actually lead Kyogre. Kyogre could be a solid lead here. I can always swap the rain, but, uh, do I go Kingdra? I'm thinking of leading Kingdra here. Bring in, uh, Serene over here, and then Kyogre in the final spot. I just like this squad right here. We haven't shown off Umbreon, but I just think there's no need here. We have our special attackers out on the field, which is totally fine, so Intimidate won't affect us. And then if he wants to go into, like, say, a fake out with Incineroar, we can swap into you. And more Peko could be scary as well, yo. Electric Pokemon, definitely not our friends today. Every team just seems to have an electric Pokemon right now. Let's rock it. Let's go in with this team. Let's lock this team down. I, I'm digging it. I'm digging it right now. We like we have that Kingdra. Kingdra poses a threat, and I can always change rain instantly with Tornadus, which is just great all around. Or I can just swap into Kyogre. It's really whatever I want to do. But let's see. Let's see our play. Let's see his play first and foremost. It could be more Peko. More Peko. A little scary. It's gonna be Kai. Like, dude, I'm so confused. Like, okay, you set up the rain for us, so I, I do, I do like it. You can swap in a Torkoal, which I might just rain dance and make a prediction on that. That could be power move. That could be power move. We're going to this. Put double down into the hurricane. Put double down just in case we see a Torkoal swap. Let's do it. 
We might we might end up seeing it. There's a Torkoal Song. I knew I should just read the Rain Dance. I knew I 100% should just read the Rain Dance. That was a thousand percent the play. I should have just did that. Um, I wonder what he's gonna go into now. Ooh, Sleep Powder is looking scary. Sleep Powder is definitely looking scary. I should just read the Rain Dance. Sludge Bomb's gonna fly through here. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with the Sludge Bomb coming through. So he ends up doing that, giving us the rain. Hurricane's gonna still connect, which is awesome. How much damage are we gonna do? Yes, sir. Yo, Venus, get out my face. Get out my face! I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. Hopefully, this, this next hurricane actually lands as well. It does not. So there's our first miss hurricane of the day. I'm cool with that. I can set up a rain dance with my tornadoes all day, or I can just set up a tailwind. What does Jeans want to do here? Thunderstruck is coming through here, and that is more Petco. Get this thing out of my face, yo. They're both posing a huge threat to me right now. And I definitely got set up a rain dance. Definitely got set up a lovely rain dance. And I'm thinking, yo, I'm thinking of going after some more Petco with this. I'm thinking Protect is potentially a uh, an option for this thing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say he's either protecting or swapping, right? He's going to fake out. Oh, you buttery biscuit. He's going to end up faking out me. Oh, no. going to end up flinching. Hydro Pump is still going to connect, which is great. Which is lovely. I might set up a Tailwind next turn instead of a Rain Dance. Let's see how much damage we do. Ooh, yo, solid amount of damage. Solid amount of damage. Eruption comes out. That's looking scary. That's probably going to take out my Tornadus, right? Tornadus goes down. Kingdra is still alive. Let's bring out Kyogre. Let's bring out Kyogre. Kyogre, get on out here. Morpeko's going to change his stance. And I think it was Rocket Fake Out. Yo, that's a scary Pokemon right there. Get the rain going. Get the rain going. And I might just use Kyogre and eventually swap him. And just eventually swap him. Because my Kyogre can beat out his Kyogre all day. If I can get in a swap. Because we can choice into a thunder in the rain which is just going to dominate so with that said uh water spout could come out here and i think water spout is probably our play because that would definitely take out the more peko and then we can definitely just hurricane over onto this side just in case he swaps into kyogre let's see which i can definitely see a hard swap from the kyogre coming out here or Pekka, yo, looking. He's just not looking good, yo. He's looking angry, man. <laughs> He's like, yo, you took out my boy. You took out my boy. I'm coming for you. He's going to end up with y'all on that. Kind of saw that coming all day. That's why we went to the Hurricane. And the uh, Water Spout should definitely be able to take out the more Pekka. No problem. He might protect it, right? Yep. Let's so protect from him. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it because we can do the same exact thing next turn. We can do the same exact thing next turn. Hurricane comes out here. Dealing some nice, lovely damage over there thing. And we're down to 4 HP. Water Spout coming out here, and we're going to actually end up taking out our own Kingdra. I might end up swapping now. I might just end up swapping now. Might end up swapping now. Because Kingdra's going to go down here. I would rather have the rain. You know what? No, we're, we're, we're chilling with this. We're chilling with this all day. I could protect. I see this water spell getting the double kill, right? But I think I'm just gonna protect the Kingdra. Let's protect the Kingdra. Let's see. I'm hoping this water spell can pick up the double kill. That's it. Let's make it happen. Thunder's gonna come out here. Oh my lord. You outspeed me? You gotta be choice scarfed as well. But yo, I'm so confused. We have to swap this thing next turn. I don't think we're gonna get killed. He gets a crit as well. And a. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! What you mean? What you mean? Bro, that's so whack. That is so whack. We have to swap him. We have to go into Serene now. And um, who who do I take out here? More Peko, I think? I think more Peko's gotta go. Kyogre could go. That's so rough. That is so rough. Let's take out this Kyogre. Let's get rid of this Kyogre. I'm gonna end up withdrawing him. I'm gonna withdraw my Pokemon at the same time. I'm with that. Oh my lord, yo. He gets a thunder, a paralyze. He outspeeds my Kyogre. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. We're swapping our Kyogre. That's perfect time here. Got to love it. Got to love it. Our uh, our Kingdra is going to go down here, which is looking a little tough. Is he attacking it? or? Yeah, yes. Okay, so no moves are going to come out here. We're going to start taking this weather. He is grabbing speed, bro. He's grabbing speed. Thing is grabbing speed. We don't like to see that. Now I have to bring out Kyogre. No, dude. No. This win was we were looking good. We were looking so good. Ah, oh, we're paralyzed here. We don't have protect. We're choiced. Guess we're gonna go into an origin pulse. 
Right, Origin Pulse has to come out here. We could U-turn. What do I want to go into? A high Jump Kick could rock out here. What am I going to go into? I'm going to go into a High Jump Kick. I'm going to go for that Origin Pulse. He's definitely going to swap the Torkoal, right? To secure this victory, right? Nope, Aurora Will comes out here. I'm sorry, Kyogre. I'm sorry, Kyogre. I'm sorry, man. I'm so sorry. So there's that. He could swap the Torkoal. But I wonder what he's going to do with that. Here goes our High Jump Kick. Does connect. Pop. We get rid of that thing. And, hmm, he's probably rocking Ice Beam, he has a Fire Pump, we can't swap, so we have Weather over here, Eruption's gonna come out here, still probably gonna take the out, Eruption's so good, look at that, that is ridiculous, even in the rain, the amount of damage Torkoal can do is ridiculous, but dude, I thought we had that battle, that Kyogre really, really got, got over on us, man, so there's that, we can glide, I can high jump kick, I just don't see us win this battle, we are gonna go for the glide, just at least take out the Kyogre, Maybe have the Torkoal miss. Nope, Ice Beam's gonna outspeed. And he's gonna be rocking out. I think he is Choice Scarf. He's gotta be Choice Scarf. Because our Kyogre's Choice Scarf and he's outspeeding him. Which is just insane. That is crazy. Solid battle here. We went 2 and 1 for today's video and showed off the power of Kyogre. Great set of battles for today's video. Ended up going 2 and 1, grabbing ourselves that winning record and showcasing his team to its fullest potential. The only Pokemon we did not use is Umbreon. He only comes in in certain situations to act as a Sportmon, but all around, I feel like we showed off all these Pokemon besides him really, really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.